Do you dream of becoming a scientist in India, whether it's space, biotechnology or medicine? The top 20 research examinations are your gateway to the best institutes like ISERTs, NISERTs, TIFR and ISRO. These exams are not just tests, they are your chance to shape the future of science and technology in India. Curious to know which exams can launch your career in cutting-edge research? Stick around because your path to becoming a researcher starts now. And don't rely too much on motivation because recently we made a video on motivating students who didn't get selected at either aptitude test in any other research college. But motivation alone can do nothing without direction. And with clear direction only we can start our work. Stress and all will eventually build up, but it's our responsibility to cope and fight with it. Okay, so we need to be very clear about what we are going to do. So here in this video, we are going to talk about top 20 exams for research careers in India. So hello everyone, my name is Swami Prakash. So let's start and stay tuned till the end in this video, because we are going to talk about lots of things that you might not have even aware about before watching this. Okay. So let's get started. So on the first, can you guess what is there? It's our own ISER aptitude test. So what is this? This is just an exam that leads to the best seven research institutes in India, which are ISERTs, Indian Institute of Science Education Research, IISC Bangalore, IIT Madras, and IIT Guwahati as well. Okay, so these are top tier research institutes where you can just go and pursue your integrated BSMS or BS research degrees. And you can be on the way to becoming and pursuing your dream research career. Research focus is mainly on interdisciplinary science, fundamental research, subjects like physics, chemistry, maths, bio, earth science, planetary science, astrophysics, astronomy, so on, so forth, AI, data science, machine learning, computer science, everything that is about science and STEM in general. So studying at any of these institutes is definitely very fascinating and sophisticated. And of course, you're gonna get on your own journey to pursue science and research. So this is for everyone who is in class 12th and dropper or, you know, who is preparing for example, like NEET, J, and any other thing. You should definitely consider either aptitude test if you ever dreamt of becoming a scientist. By the way, recently, the sixth round result of ISER aptitude test counseling has also been announced to all those who have gotten any ISER. Many congratulations starting off your research career. If you have not gotten any ISER or any college, please don't lose hope. Seventh and eighth rounds are still left and there are chances for you, my friend. But, but, but if you're in class 11th, 12th, 10th, any other class watching this video, clueless about what this is, then I would suggest you to check out more videos on this channel and uh, get in touch with us. Okay, so this is about ISER aptitude test giving you admissions in top tier research careers, colleges of India. Next up, we have NEST nationwide entrance screening test that gives you admission in two colleges named NICER, which is National Institute of Science, Education and Research. That's the college where I pursued my education from. And the other one is CEBS, Center of Excellence in Basic Sciences. Both these institutes come under Department of Atomic Energy, which is handled directly by Prime Minister's Office in Government of India. So you get direct access and all the resources funding from Atomic Energy section. Of graduates from these colleges, of course, you can go to pursue PhDs, postdoctorates, other research careers across the world. Many people from these institutes as well as ISC ISERTs, they get offers from top universities from the world like MIT, Harvard, Stanford, Princeton for PhDs and other uh, educational degrees. Also, you can get to government laboratories such as ISRO, DRDO, BAR. Research focus, of course, is very similar to ISC Bangalore and ISERTs. Interdisciplinary, physics, chemistry, maths, bio, computer science, AI, ML, everything at all that you can think about science is there at these institutes. And we have already made a full video regarding NICER and CEBS. If you want to know more, you can check that out as well. Next up, we have JEE Advanced Joint Entrance Examination. Of course, there is hardly any maths or PCM student in class 11th and 12th that is not aware about this examination. Gives you admission into IITs, 
IIS Trivandrum and couple of other universities. One of them is top research university in India, which is IIS Bangalore. Okay, uh, Bombay, Delhi, Kanpur, Madras, Kan, Kharagpur. These are just some of the IITs that you can get access to. IITs. Why are we considering this or putting this in research institutes? Because IITs have this integrated MSc program. So top tier research is also conducted at various labs at IITs, and many of the students pursuing at uh, IITs, their educational degrees, they also switch to ISER, SNISER, ISC for their internships and projects and vice versa. For example, I used to also do my couple of internships at various IITs during my tenure at NISER. And uh, research focus is primarily on engineering, of course, but there is a huge focus on research as well. Okay, so science, theory and experimentation. Experimental labs are also there. In fact, recently, a very famous quantum entanglement experiment was conducted at IIT Delhi in collaboration with DRDO, where they actually entangle a particle over a certain distance. So how fascinating is that? Next, I'm going to talk about an institution from where last year the average package was as high as 89 lakh per annum. Can you guess? I'm talking about Indian Statistical Institute, ISI Kolkata, world famous institutes in mathematics as well as statistics okay leads to degree in bachelor of statistics b maths m stat and m maths respectively research institutes are isi kolkata and its branches in delhi and bangalore now you can pursue statistics applied maths data science and its application in other areas such as physics biology chemistry so on so forth heavy emphasis on application based projects that is what leads you to a very lucrative industrial positions as well as in top notch finance and data science companies across the world so if you have heard about companies like jp morgan bcg morgan stanley so on so forth many of these actively recruit from isi india for banking finance and data science and statistics jobs okay next up we have neat ug now a shift to biology students neat is what leads you to MBBS and BDS and other medical related degrees at various medical colleges and universities across India, both government as well as private. Now, research institutes in this list is, of course, AIMS Delhi and other branches of AIMS, ICMR, Indian Council for Medical Research, now PGIMAR and JIPMER Pondicherry as well. Very active biological and related research goes on in all these research institutes. By the way, if you remember the times of COVID-19, when the entire nation was struggling and shut because of the virus, people from these institutes were actively working to produce a vaccine for the nation and treating all those who were sick and ill at that, that time. So we owe them a lot to people from these institutes, not just for research, but for their work. Okay, the focus is of course, biomedical, clinical, public health and related research. Salaries is uh, very subjective, 10 to 15, 20 lakh rupees. In India, of course, if you belong to industry, you're working there as a research scientist and doing something around, you get a bit more in abroad, ranging from 100 to $200,000 per annum. Next up, I'm taking up an exam, which most of the PCM and PCB aspirants tend to miss out on and later regret. Are you ready? I'm talking about CUETUG science courses that leads to BSc and related courses in central universities across India, like Delhi University, BHU, Hyderabad, so on, so forth. GNU, of course, is there. Now, many of these universities have their own lab. Plus, you can do your projects, internships, research things at universities like ISC Bangalore, CSIR Labs, Triple IITs, IITs, and some of these students also end up going abroad, okay? And most of the internships are funded and covered. If you want more information regarding that, we already made a couple of videos for that. You can watch. And research focus is physics, chemistry, life science research, botany, zoology, so on, so forth. Also, we have ICAR, AIAA, UG, which is now merged in CUET and all this admission process takes place to CUET, UG counseling. This includes institutes like ICAR, uh, IVRI, very famous agriculture institute and research focuses on agriculture science and animal science research. So all this now takes place through CUET. Okay, very clear. If you want to pursue agriculture related science, 
apply to CUET UG exam and get selected admission in uh, these institutes. Okay, now clarifying again, last time CUET is the way to go to these colleges for agricultural education. Uh, next up we have, now let's proceed to students who are already in college pursuing their BSc or related courses, now looking to pursue their masters in IITs, IC Bangalore, TIFR and other top-notch research institutes of India. This is not for people in class 12, but those who have already gotten into places like DU, Wiser, Nizer, and so on and so forth. Joint admission test for MSc. Okay, now most of the mentors at Syasta that you see, many of them of course, they have pursued their masters from IITs by qualifying IIT That's JAM it. examination. Via IIT JAM, you can get access to MSc degrees in most of the IITs. I see Bangalore and other places like TIFR Bombay and you can pursue your internships and projects at global research universities as well and research focus of course is on physics, chemistry, maths, bio uh, and related interdisciplinary fields here. So if you are pursuing your BSc, let's say you admitted in uh, DU or any other central university via CUET, now you're looking to level up and get to top university or research lab across India, then IIT JAM is a very right tool for you. And of course, I'm going to take about uh, more such examinations for top-notch research institutes in next few slides. Next up is GEST, okay. This leads to MSc and Integrated PhD. What is a IPhD? Integrated Masters plus PhD program in a whole or a combined course at institutes like TIFR, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, very reputed, okay, institute uh, set up by Tata Trust 100 years ago, one of the best institutes for interdisciplinary science across the world. Now, TIFR, ISERS, IITs, you can pursue MSc and IPHD. And of course, you can pursue your internships and projects at worldwide top-notch research universities. Now, we have TIFR General Science Examination, which is uh, for MSc and PhD at Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. This is for those who are already pursuing bachelors of science in any other college. Okay, the campus is in Mumbai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune, um, and research focus is basically pure science, okay, natural science. Next up, we have NBHM examination. This is also very reputed examination for BSc graduates and leads to MSc and PhD at IMSc at Chennai, very famous institutes under Homi Bhabha National Institute, HBNI, IITs, ISC Bangalore and HRI Allahabad hands down the best institute for quantum information that you can get in India. Okay, um, and you get to do MSc and PhD at these institutes and uh, research focuses mostly theoretical and applied research in physics, chemistry, maths and related areas. Next up we have GATE, pretty much all engineering and science graduates uh, are aware about GATE, okay, graduate aptitude test examination. That gives you uh, access to masters in IITs, ISC, ISERs, TIFR, pretty much all the institute that provides masters and uh, doctorate degrees in India, okay. Uh, and of course, some of the lucky fellows are also able to get jobs in PSUs. What are PSUs? Public sector units, you can get a job in PSU, a very good paying job if you qualify this examination. Mostly, the jobs are available in chemistry and bio-related fields. Some are also there in physics and uh, maths. Uh, the PSUs offering jobs are mostly NTPC, ONGC, um, IOCL, so on and so forth. But these are very reputed jobs that you might want to do. And research focus, of course, is there since you are going for master's and doctorate degrees. Now we have CSIR UGC net for doctorate. Of course, Junior Research Fellowship plus Lectureship. This is the exam that gives you, that makes you eligible to become a professor in India when you qualify lecturership, okay? You can actually teach the college or university students at a state level when you qualify this examination and you can earn anywhere between 1 to 1.5 lakh rupees per month, okay? How great is that, guys? You just qualified MSc, you cleared this LS Lectureship examination CSIR net and now you are an assistant professor in a state university teaching students and making good money. Now uh, institutes are CSIR labs, IIT, IIT, IIT Bangalore and other universities. Next up we have UGC net 
साइंस सब्जेक्ट नॉट जस्ट जे आर एफ एल एस बेसिकली सिमिलर थिंग पी एच डी स्लैश लेक्चरशिप यू कैन परस्यू इधर ऑफ दीज टू नाउ यू हैव ऑल द यूनिवर्सिटीज बेसिकली कवर्ड इन दैट समटाइम्स इसरो एंड डी आर डी आर ऑल्सो देयर वाई आर सी एस आई आर नेट और गेट एग्जामिनेशन नाउ वी हैव आई सी एम आर जे आर एफ दिस इज फॉर ऑफकोर्स मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स एंड एक्सेस टू आई सी एम आर लैब्स एम्स जिपमर पी जी एम आर एक्सेट्रा नाउ वी हैव डी बी टी बी ई टी विच इज बायोटेक एलिजिबिलिटी टेस्ट दैट इज फॉर पी एच डी फॉर बायोलॉजी ग्रेजुएट्स ओके एंड रिसर्च फॉर द सेम इन डी बी टी लैब्स बायोटेक ओके एंड एन सी बी एस नेशनल सेंटर फॉर बायोलॉजिकल साइंसेज वेरी रेप्यूटेड इंस्टीट्यूट आई एस सी बैंगलोर एंड आई आई टी से नाउ वी हैव बार्क ओ सी ई एस एंड डी जी एफ एस दिस इज द पोजिशन दैट आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट नाइजर एंड सी बी एस ग्रेजुएट्स कैन सेट इन दी इंटरव्यू फॉर ओके दिस लीड्स टू ट्रेनिंग एंड इवेंचुअली बिकमिंग अ साइंटिस्ट एट बार्क द एलिजिबिलिटी इज यू मस्ट हैव फिनिश योर एम एस सी इन फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री मैथ्स और बायो ओके नाउ रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट विल ऑफकोर्स बी बार्क एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड लैब्स सच एज आई जी सी आर कलपक्कम एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ दी ऑल यूनिवर्सिटीज ऑल रिसर्च लैब्स एंड इंस्टीट्यूट्स अंडर एच पी एन आई ओके नाउ यू कैन वर्क ऑन न्यूक्लियर स्पेस डिफेंस रिसर्च ओके यू विल एक्चुअली बी कॉल्ड अ न्यूक्लियर साइंटिस्ट और अ स्पेस साइंटिस्ट ओके हाउ ग्रेट इज दैट गाइज नाउ नेक्स्ट अप इज आई कर ए आई ए पी जी एग्जामिनेशन दिस हैज नॉट बीन मर्ज विद सी यू टी द यू जी वन हैज बीन मर्ज दिस इज फॉर पी जी एंड पी एच डी एडमिशन इन ऑल दी एग्रीकल्चर रिलेटेड इंस्टीट्यूट अक्रॉस इंडिया नेक्स्ट अप इज कॉमन एंट्रेंस टेस्ट दिस इज फॉर स्टेट एंड प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटीज फॉर बी टेक मास्टर्स एंड पी एच डीज ओके एंड रिसर्च फोकस ऑफकोर्स साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग रिसर्च इज ऑल्सो देर एंड यू कैन परस्यू योर बी टेक और बी एस सी देन फॉलोड बाई मास्टर्स एंड इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ एम टेक एंड एम एस सी एंड फॉलोड बाई पी एच डी एंड जॉब प्लेसमेंट्स एंड ऑफकोर्स देर इन दीज यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर एग्जाम्पल मोस्ट ऑफ द कर्नाटका यूनिवर्सिटीज आर देर वेरी गुड कॉलेजेस आर वी सी ई रमैया बी एम एस सो ऑन सो फोर्थ टेक एडमिशन थ्रू दिस एग्जामिनेशन बट स्टेट कोटा ऑफकोर्स इज देर इन मैनी ऑफ द स्टेट्स नाउ नीट पी जी ओके मोस्ट आई थिंक इट्स द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट एग्जामिनेशन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉम्पिटिशन इज वेरी 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 हाई एंड इन पी जी वी हैव फॉर एम डी एम एस पी एच डी इन टॉप मेडिकल इंस्टीट्यूट अक्रॉस इंडिया ऑफकोर्स यू कैन फोकस ऑन क्लिनिकल बायोमेडिकल सर्जरी सो ऑन सो फोर्थ एंड ट्रांसलेशनल रिसर्च समटाइम्स एज वेल नाउ दीज आर प्रेडी मच ऑल द एग्जॉस्टिव लिस्ट ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन दैट यू कैन हैव डिपेंडिंग ऑन वॉट स्टेज ऑफ योर करियर आर यू इन बैचलर्स मास्टर्स डॉक्टरेट ओके प्रेडी मच यू विल बी कवर्ड अलॉन्ग दीज एग्जामिनेशन ओनली सो ऑफकोर्स लॉन्ग लिस्ट एंड आई होप दिस हैज बीन अ बेट ऑफ द यूजफुल इफ नॉट यूजफुल जस्ट to create awareness at your level and if you find this video useful and you have come this far then definitely consider subscribing because it takes lots of effort to make these kind of videos and we definitely intend to bring out more from value to you and if you face any doubt related to any of this that i just talked about and let me know in the comment as well which exam are you actually preparing for is it je neet iit nest gate jam okay let us know so that we can have a conversation and if you think you need any help then reach out to us reach out to support team or me personally now two more very important things number 1 if you want this ppt you will get in syastra's free material section on the application and if you're preparing for iit neat and you need personal mentorship and guidance from us or you just want to prepare and run with hundreds okay if not thousands of peers similar to you then you can check out kalam batch the link to which is given in the description till then see you everyone in the next video and all the best mm -hmm.